uh, it is hard or not. That mm. depends on the software. Okay. Uh, you know, the Chamonix, uh, they use the Siemens. They're okay. based on the Siemens system. Mm -hmm. Actually, this system is a quite closed uh, system. Mm -hmm. uh, before 2010, mm -hmm. the Chamonix, uh, they use the power line. Welcome to Laser Insights China. Discover the latest news, trends, and insights in the Chinese laser industry. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our podcast, Laser Insights China. Today, I'm honored to have a special guest, Bob Ran. He is the CEO and the Chief Technical Engineer of TA Laser. Bob, welcome. Thank you so much, Sheldon. I'm so excited to be part of today's discussion. Okay. Uh, as you can see that we are wearing the same uniform like the joint brand the TA and the Skyfire because several weeks ago we reached a cooperation on laser retrofitting projects especially for the Trump laser retrofitting and uh, yesterday I asked uh, Bob to come to our studio to have a discussion about the Trump laser retrofitting now we are here. I hope you guys enjoy today's. So first question, uh, Bob, can you give us a brief introduction about uh, ratio feeding CO2 laser cutting machine into fiber laser cutting machine? Uh, you know, in the market, uh, why the customer uh, so focus on this topic? Mm -hmm. uh, because the CO2 laser uh, is the last generation technology. Mm -hmm. It comes with very high electricity and gas consumption. Okay. And also the maintenance costs are crazy high. Uh -huh. So most companies are looking for the uh, cost effective and efficient uh, alternative technology to reduce this uh, high using cost. Okay, okay. So uh, I have been heard that um, people on the market is talking about the ratio of um, mother laser machine and uh, of course the bastronic laser cutting machine ratio fitting but very few people talk about the trump laser machine so what is the reason behind it uh, you know uh, for retrofit uh, co2 laser to fiber laser mm -hmm. uh, it is hard a lot that mm -hmm. depends on the software okay uh, you know the trump laser they use the siemens they're okay. based on the siemens mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. actually this system is a quite closed uh, system Mm -hmm. uh, before 2010, mm -hmm. the Trump laser, they used the power line power system line. with uh, I.O. communications. Okay. For these old models, mm -hmm. can be easily to retrofit to a fiber laser. Okay. But after the 2010, mm -hmm. Trump laser started to use the solution line system with the profit bus communications. Okay. Uh, for this new system, converted uh, for us, mm -hmm. uh, it's much more challenging. Okay. Uh, we are still working on it. Okay, so if there is a customer uh, who wants to reach a fit in the Trump laser the, after 2010, can TA do it? Uh, yes, yeah, so actually we can do it, uh, but uh, for example, for this kind of machines, mm -hmm. we can retrofit to 1.5 kilowatt, 2 mm -hmm. kilowatt, or 3 kilowatt without ultrafocus. Okay. Ratio fitting the machine expensive? I mean, the, what's the time uh, what's the um, price difference between a uh, ratio feeding a uh, laser machine and uh, buying a new one actually that depends on what kind of brands or uh, machine you want to buy you know mm -hmm. uh, the fiber laser cutting machines is very popular now mm -hmm. we have the famous uh, foreigner uh, brands and also china brands mm -hmm. uh, so normally the price of the fiber laser cutting machine from internationally in the brands, mm -hmm. uh, typically exceeds three hundred thousand USD dollars. Wow! You know, like a uh, Trump, Armada, Mitsubishi fiber laser mm -hmm. price is quite high. Uh, meanwhile, you know the fiber laser uh, from China, mm -hmm. the price is uh, very attractive. Mm -hmm. But under this price, mm -hmm. uh, they reduced too much configurations. Okay. Such as reduce the frame weight. Okay. Remove the machine body head treatment technology. Okay. Uh, use the pro quality get rails, racks, and gears. So actually, it, now it's quite hard to choose a reliable and stable machine in China market. Okay. So I this see. is a why customer want to retrofit, and uh, the price and uh, the cost uh, is. Uh, uh, in the middle of your buying oh, okay. a famous brand or a China brand, it's in the middle. Okay. I heard that. Uh, after retrofitting, the operator can still use the original software, right? Yes. So can, can you give us 
uh, share with us some information on the benefits of ratio feeding uh, CO2 laser into fiberless cut machine. Yeah, this is a very good question. Actually, we after retrofit, we have a lot of benefits. Uh, so, you know, uh, retrofit and existing CO2 laser to fiber laser is a saving cost uh, uh, option. Okay. You know, the fiber laser cutting machines are most energy efficient. Yes. They use less gas. Yes. Dollar maintenance cost. Mm -hmm. uh, in the key point, mm -hmm. the customer can retain their old machine body structure. Oh. The software. The old drive systems. Oh, your yeah, server system can yeah, still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is our original machine, actually. So it means less training is for mm -hmm. operators. Mm -hmm. You know, you buy a new machine. At at least you, you need to spend one week, two weeks to training cost to training the operators. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So according to my experience, that um, on the laser ratio feeding area, some customers worry. The after sale service the most. What kind of uh, after sale service uh, can TA provide? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, actually this issues is uh, almost a lot of customers they 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 very concerned about this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I have been a service engineer for over ten years. Yes, I see. So actually, TA is uh, we are focused on this service. Okay. So after re after retrofitting, uh, we can provide the comprehensive after service support for mm -hmm. our customers. Okay. Our team, mm -hmm. with over 10 years of mechanical and uh, software engineering experience in Trumpless area. Okay. Uh, we can offer both uh, offline and online technical support. Okay. Uh, what, um, are the, what about the parts? If the parts broken, how do they replace or where they can buy? Uh, actually, we, uh, we have a lot of original used uh, oh. uh, Trump spare parts oh, in, really? our, in our warehouse. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So good. this is a big sure when the customer the original part damage that we can still provide it. Okay, if the original part yeah, yes, yes. before Richard Feeling broken. You yes, can still yes, we can provide. still provide service and the spare parts. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's great. That's yes. Great. So in one word we, we provide fully the Trump spare parts and okay. the technical support for our ready fitting customers. Okay. That's strong. That's strong. That's solid. Today, I learned a lot. <laughs> and um, in the next episode, uh, we will talk about the details on the ratio feeding uh, cases yeah. or even the detailed steps. So hope everyone uh, stay tuned. And uh, that's for today's podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you, see you next episode.